Welcome to Viewer Takeover from Rickus Rook and the other game guy in the room. Enjoy. This Damn is it. the Midnight Gamescast. We record every Monday night at midnight, then we bring it to YouTube every Tuesday as the weekly wrap up. And yep. man, was it a long one. Very interesting. Oh you God. should go check that out. Oh and then come back here later. I don't know. We're probably. Whatever you want to do. Luckily, <laughs> for your, luckily for you, it's probably not an advertisement in front of it because we swear too much. Uh, every oh, Wednesday, oh, it's PlayStation right. VR. Theater. I never know if you're going to say it or not. And every Thursday. I want you to. Oh, okay. <laughs> every Thursday is Viewer Takeover, where we let you, the loyal game cats. Wow. <laughs> We let you take over the show. We would go through the comments. We we check out your comments. We read your comments, and sometimes we answer your comments. Something sometimes, yeah. about comments, yeah. questions, yeah. comments, yeah. concerns. Uh, I'm Brian. That's Jeremy. And this is Michelle, uh, and this is this is your takeover. But more important, yeah. D- down there, <laughs> we want to thank some really yes. really important people in our life. Yes. Uh, the most important people in our life are, are our loyal Patreon supporters. Yeah. Um, you know, don't forget Jesus. Is he in there? No, he's not a supporter. He wouldn't support this. Why not? There's too much swearing. But he gives to everybody. No, only the righteous. Or, or maybe maybe, huh. maybe we're not homeless enough? We are enough. heaven and hell. Oh, but you, see, that's why he doesn't support us, Brian. You had your chance. He would have be a Patreon supporter if you gave him a shirt. Oh, God, that was a long episode ago. Yeah. Or a lot of episodes ago. It was. it was also a long episode. It was a long episode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, th- so we just want to... All the people going down here, these are people who give us money every month, and I can't yeah. imagine why they do, but maybe <laughs> this girl over here... Michelle, why do people give us money? Me. Um, because we're awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is true. I almost sent you a text today being like, can you prepare something yeah, for that's this fine. moment? No, we do... Um, and then I didn't, and now we I We do a little I something <laughs> extra for the Patreon supporters. Um, each what of us, do? there's, <laughs> so glad it's not me, um, me Brian, really Jeremy, Des, uh, every week we, um, we take a little bit five to 35. Jesus, five to 35 minutes and talk a little bit about ourselves, not necessarily about video games. Um, play you a song, draw you some artwork. Who knows what we what do? Is, I know. Yeah. I know what we do. Right. We do it every week. It's, it's a little mini talents show. Talent. Talent it show. It is. Yeah. It's called the litter yes. box, and uh, and and who knows what you're going to get? But every week you're going to get one. Uh, right. And it's and it's basically Just a little something I'll, extra. You know, you like the bonus footage at the end of our videos. Well. This is like the ultimate bonus footage. Yeah. Right? Uh, and for one just on a dollar a month, you get access to every video we've ever made. On, on Tour Patreon. of Brian's apartment. Yep, that was one. That yep. was one, This yeah. week, uh, so I guess a couple months ago, Des and I went to Six Flags. We were going to film a VR episode <laughs> mm-hmm. about their VR rides. Yeah. And uh, we got there, and it turned out no VR they rides shut anymore. Down oh. the VR our, rides. our contact at, at Six Flags didn't tell us that they didn't yeah. exist anymore. Oh, she wow. apparently didn't know. Oh jeez. So, uh, but we Not filmed we filmed it anyway because we're like, well, we're already here. We're going on some rides. Yeah. yeah. And Might so, well. um, so we saved it for a litter box episode, and that's what you got this week. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So you went to Six Flags this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that we've thanked our loyal Patreon supporters, you know who we need to thank next. Rickus Rook for that amazing viewer takeover oh, yeah. introduction. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. That was awesome. Thank you, you, thank you, Rickus Rook, and your game cat. We love <laughs> you both so much. So much. Fantastic Very stuff. Very much. Uh, and then uh, I guess it's time to read some comments, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Start I'm going to read the first off. one because this one's a real long one. This one yeah, was actually sent to one. me on uh, YouTube as a message. You can send us messages. I can't promise you I'll always get them. YouTube doesn't I actually didn't know you send. I you do that. You can. And they don't. YouTube's weird. YouTube does not notify you when you have a message. So unless you actually click the message thing, it doesn't say one or two or three. Why wouldn't it notice you? I feel like that's I've never checked. Well, you might have some messages. I had quite a few when I I checked. That YouTube red. Oh, awkward. What about red? YouTube. What about red? Not red tube. tube. YouTube red. What about it? I pay for it. You pay pay for it? I subscribe. I have for like... At least a year. Fool fool of a took. Excellent. I didn't know. I didn't know people used that. Yeah, I do. I create I my know. own playlist Amazon. and save them, and I have the music app and everything. I think we get like two dollars a month from YouTube Red sub, sub, uh, subscribers. Oh, really? Yeah, we do. We actually, we huh. get a little tiny little percentage of that. Wow. Oh. Yep. So I should oh. give it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our very first comment uh, comes from XX Silver in 
Oh wait, Silverine XX. What? The, what the heck? XX Silverine X. Silverine. Silver. Like Wolverine. I-N-E. Silverine. Oh, silver. Oh, maybe. There we go. Yeah. Silverine X. Anyway, like I said, this came through a YouTube message. Don't send me messages this way if you actually want me to find them. Uh, so, so now you know. So you might actually find them. Double X. <laughs> nope. Double X Silverine <laughs> X. X wrote <laughs> top channel, mate. Keep it up. Oh, British, I'm assuming. Uh, or Australia. Australia. Or Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after 30 years of gaming, PlayStation VR is a breath of fresh air. Yes, it has limitations, but the future is bright for gaming mm-hmm. on this type of medium. I'm like most. Family, 2.4 kids, that's an interesting fraction, mortgage, etc., <laughs> etc. Et so I buy used games. Uh, I used to buy new games, complete the game, sell them, buy another. With PlayStation VR, 90% of the games are digital, and developers must be my age but still living in the 80s, taking acid, yeah. because the price they are charging must surely still, they must surely still be tripping. I cannot be alone in thinking this way. There was an outcry from when Microsoft tried to go digital, yeah. and there should be another outcry with Sony. Mm-hmm. But here's a remedy. Let's trade digital games. Sony and Microsoft want to go digital, fine, but let the, contum- let the consumer digitally trade online. Problem solved. Everyone's happy. Oh, sorry. There is another option. Stop taking acid and charge a reasonable price for digital. Yeah. All the best with the channel. Big Pussy Jewels. I didn't write that. That's the (laughs) Big Pussy Jewels. Apparently, Double X Silverine, Double X name. His other name. (laughs) Big Pussy Jewels. Big Pussy Jewels. Um, All right. Yeah. Well, I think the real solution here isn't let us trade games. Let us trade digital games. It's just charge a reasonable price. Yeah. Well, that would be nice. Digital yes. I, they, PC, you can digitally. They've been doing that, you know. Mm-hmm. Like Steam, I think has a return policy or something now. Or you can sell them digitally, right? There's something with Steam. Um, but I think good old a good old gaming. Had Glad that. came prepared. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I've known that. I used to play. That's how I own hundreds of games through Steam because yeah. yeah. I used to mostly play PC. But games. I don't think you can trade them. I don't know about trading. I thought you could return them or sell them back. There's or a return do policy. Yeah, like right. Steam has a pretty good return policy where if you play something and uh, and and it's just totally busted or yeah. if you play it for less than two hours and you can, I think you can return it right uh, and say this is this is garbage garbage yeah. yeah does it have to be busted or I mean can you just not like it I mean two hours I think that's reasonable right I, I think that is, yeah. what I, maybe for any reason but I don't mm-hmm. know I we're not right. PC games. yeah it's been a while you know Too like many I'm years. 100% right. a PlayStation well PlayStation VR I guess at this point exclusive right. gamer. Uh, so I don't know what the Steam policy is. Yeah. What do you guys think of being able to trade digital games? Why not? I'd, I'd say yeah. I think it would be great. So yeah. basically you remove your right to play a game. Yeah. Fine. And then somebody removes their right to play a game and you swap. And yeah. You why, why not? Yeah. Totally yeah. awesome. I think it would make everyone happy. Mm-hmm. Well, it would make a lot of people happy. It would make a lot of gamers happy. Right. But you know who wouldn't make happy? Yeah. The developers. The developers. The developers, the not publishers, yeah. Sony, Microsoft, anybody who makes any money yeah. off of a sale yeah. wouldn't be happy with this at all. Because how are they making it's any like more GameStop money? GameStop destroyed right. and okay. influenced prices of games very much right. years and years back. Yep. You know? I see where that could go terribly wrong. Yeah, the fact is, is yeah. it'll never happen because they don't have to do it. Yeah, right. With getting rid of physical games, which hasn't happened yet, um, but as you can see, it is happening mm-hmm. slowly. Slowly, yeah, um, it's totally. <laughs> that <laughs> cutting out, cutting out the uh, cutting out the retail side of this and all the. What, why do I keep... <laughs> you guys are always on, in on the joke, and I never know what's going on. <laughs> You'll oh, see when yeah, you're editing. Just, I don't even want to edit. Oh. oh. You know, we should, for Brian's <laughs> sake, we should steamroll this we so should, I feel bad. We should wrap it up. <laughs> wrap up the wrap. Roll this up. <laughs> wrap up the wrap up. All right. So, cutting out the retailer, cutting out yep. all the all the shipping industries and everything that mm-hmm. costs money, all, all the companies that cost, uh, all the people printing manuals and, and like, labels and... Yeah. and Printing CDs and in, in, in the plastic cases they come in, you get rid of all of these things and the markup from retail. I mean, I don't think any game should be more than forty bucks, yeah. right? And then and we have games like Paranormal Activity uh, uh, and Archangel VR, yeah, uh, charging us forty bucks. And these are yeah. not full fledged AAA games. These are right. games that you know take three hours and they're made by like smaller. You said they're still working on it too a little bit. 
was paranormal. Was paranormal. Loaded. Oh yeah, yeah. no, it, and good on them for for like you continuing. Know, this continuing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and we appreciate that, which is fantastic. But it's not a triple A game. No. It's right. a it's a smaller team, and it's ma- they're making a smaller game, uh, and they should charge us for a smaller game. Yeah. You know, especially when you don't have to pay all those extra costs. Mm-hmm. So. We need to get our pricing structures in order. There has to be some kind of regulation, and that's where Sony and Microsoft need to step in and be like, listen, you can put the game out digitally on our store, but there needs to be some kind of pricing structure. Yeah. You know, like... Like, they just uh, seem like they're willy nilly whatever price they want. They're throwing it on there. Whatever you want. Yeah, Yeah. whatever they think they can get away with. It's kind of like people like us sitting around being like, How's you know? How's thirty nine ninety nine sound? Let's try that. Yeah. <laughs> See if people buy it when they don't. Right. In six months, we drop a ten bucks and get right. what we really want. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and in, in, I understand like maybe like there there could be a way to make trading games a thing. You know, right. like if each participant in the trade, it costs each participant five dollars to trade a game. Or maybe small costs to do it. Maybe right? it's just and games it under solely. a certain amount. What's that? I mean, games under a certain price point. I don't know. Uh, well, what, what's the percentage of games digitally bought that actually go to the the proceeds that go to the developer and not to Sony? Like, how much do they actually retain back? Maybe they have to put the price point up high enough, or maybe it's like no. <laughs> they want X amount. Their game is worth four ninety nine, and Sony throws it on for thirty nine ninety nine. I mean, I don't know how it right. really works. If it's them pricing, or it's just Sony trying to get well, what they can. Sony gets a cut. So oh, when he yeah. gets a percentage, totally. It's not a huge percentage. It's not. I want to say something like around. Um, uh, now I'm just talking on my ass. I, I, at one point, I thought it was ten percent. Now I, it might be fifteen percent. I, I don't. I don't totally know. Right. Yeah. Uh, Comment below. Yeah, Sony employees. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. Uh, maybe, maybe this isn't even common knowledge. Maybe this information is not out there. I, right. I, yeah. But I thought I knew at one point. Uh, so, so yes, there is this extra charge. Yeah. But like even with retail games, Sony, Microsoft get a cut anytime a game gets made for their console. Oh yeah. So this isn't like an extra cost. Yeah. You know. So even with retail, they were already getting a cut. Right. There, there needs to be some fairness here, and I, and I don't think trading games is the way to do it because then it seems like kind of screw never the developers. Over. It, se- it seems like everyone's getting screwed when you trade a game, yeah. right? Because it doesn't seem like there's enough money being given back in to make yeah. it worthwhile for the developers mm-hmm. or the publishers or Sony and Microsoft. Yeah. You know, and if you're charging somebody ten dollars to trade a game, you're like, well, I'm just gonna buy the game. I don't <laughs> know. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I, we just need to. Somebody needs to be in charge, and I feel like very often over at Sony, no one's in charge. Stop yawning. <laughs> it's not a thing. Right? I'm sorry. It is late. All right. It's the midnight game. Yes. Uh, so, but just We're getting old. But also, <laughs> FYI, like when when you sell a game back to GameStop, uh, and then you buy a used game at GameStop, yeah, it, publishers and developers don't see any of that money at all. Mm-hmm. No, none. And Sony and Microsoft don't either. And like these are if if they're not seeing money from this, then game prices are just going to keep going up, right? Yeah, which so, we do not want to happen. We don't want to happen. Games are cheaper now than they've ever been when you account right. for inflation. So we don't. We want to stay on this trajectory where games stay under sixty dollars. Triple A. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and if digital has to, if games have to be digital, and sixty dollars to be triple A mm-hmm. and not get go more expensive. Like if next generation they're seventy dollars, like a pop. Yeah. Yeah. Like way too much money. Wicked. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna price everyone out of out of our hobby. Yeah. I, yeah, I that's know. true. Well, you got to wait so long for it, the price point to drop that you're gonna miss the ball. Everybody yeah. else yeah. seems like they're gonna buy it. You know. And I, and I don't, I don't want to stay on this question for too long, but also I, I guess we do have to keep in mind that when there's only, what, 1.5, I'm guessing, yeah. million people who potentially can buy your game instead yeah. of 60 million people, mm-hmm. you do have to price it a little higher for those who are willing to buy it. Premium. Yeah, because because your audience it's is not small. a lot of, yeah, it's not a lot of people. And they in the know grand we're scheme limited. Scheme of things. Yeah. yeah, our so, options are limited. Yeah. I don't know. We're in, we're in a very difficult situation right now. Um, PlayStation VR, I think, will be very successful eventually. Yeah. But right now, like we're in a tough place where you got to kind of pay if you if you want the if you want the games. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it's an expensive hobby, and I don't think it's going to get cheaper exactly. anytime soon. Gaming is. I already bought the VR. General. Everything else should be free. <laughs> right. Okay. Asia. Asia. What? Instead of saying Europe. Europe. Oh. I'm okay. just jumping right to the See? joke. <laughs> See, it's not always just us with jokes. See? Yeah, yeah look okay. at that. Yeah. Is it my turn or Michelle's? Your turn. My turn. Jazz Galaxy Soul Dimension Review. What up, Jazz Galaxy? 
I think that just like thinking about the early Super Nintendo or PlayStation days makes me think of the days I spent reading about upcoming games in gaming magazines. Thinking about PSVR will always make the think of this channel. Make, the make, think, make me think. Make, make me, me yeah. think of this channel. That's like the greatest compliment. Yeah, of all that's time. a pretty good wow. compliment. Yeah, nice. Um, I I, sh I share a lot of thoughts with uh with, with Jazz Galaxy here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I remember being a kid and uh, my dad had a subscription to Computer Gaming World. Yeah. Uh, and and I used to like really read the crap out of that thing. Yes. You know, like see all the game reviews and stuff. And, yeah. and at the time, it was all these games that I couldn't buy, right? Because I, I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My parents weren't going to give me money for every game, yeah. right? right? Um, but then, like as I grew up, I like, you know when I got my first console, uh, Sega Genesis, I got a subscription to Electronic Gaming Monthly, and every single month when that magazine would show up, it was like the so greatest exciting. day of the month. But yeah. that was you your know? news, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yep. it's like, it's like having the internet where like every day you had yep. new no. news, news yeah. one day a that month. No, yeah. no yeah. E3, <laughs> right? and like I could never yeah. decide whether like I like, take it right away to my room and like just go through like page by page. And I or had a system. Or slowly read a right? little at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. so like, like savor it for the whole month. Right. Or yep. just blast through it and consume Sometimes it all as much as possible. Sometimes it was so good you just kept reading like, them. Yeah. I have to keep reading. So my system was, even as a little kid, I would go, I would read every page, like a cursory kind of like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then like as the month progressed, I'd like read every single word and like devour so you'd, that like, thing. So like flip through and, yeah. then, oh, go, yeah. and then go back. Yeah. Absolutely. Ahead, yeah. I'd yeah. Re read every article multiple times, even if it wasn't games I cared about. <laughs> it was so exciting because these are, these were like, they're like Bibles. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's like, this is all the information I'm getting until next month at this yeah. time. And I can just like imagine you waiting for the mail person to come and be like, Oh my God. Yeah. His little so mohawk. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> A little mini mohawk. <laughs> yeah. For, for some reason, it's blonde because he's a little kid. So why why was like I thinking that, too? Yeah. <laughs> it's strange. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and, and when I got older, you know, still had Electronic Gaming Monthly. Um, yeah. Especially like PlayStation 2 every days where I had, a, you know, like a real job and stuff mm -hmm. out of college where I could start affording games. Yeah. I'd, like, I'd buy a new game like every week. Like, yeah. like go to, you know, well, not GameStop at the time, but. Funko you know, Land. Yeah, I'd buy used games and I'd buy. Media like, Play. Oh, my God. That was a thing. Fretter. Yeah, let's. So, anyways, <laughs> and, and I do. I associate. I associate those games or those days, those those consoles with the magazines. Oh yeah. Uh, and even like I can remember like specific covers of the magazines. Yeah, I I recall some too. Yeah. And you got rid of them. And I, but I got them. You got them. <clears throat> yeah. Right. yeah. Um, and so in Jazz Galaxy, it says he associates the memories of PlayStation VR games with our channel. Like. Yeah, that fucking awesome. hits home. <laughs> yeah. right? it's, it's such a beautiful image. Yeah. Um, so thank you, Jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's that means crazy. more than you'll ever know for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm All done. Right. Yeah. Right. Why do I get emotional like every every week? Because like me, every we're week. bitches, man. We're very emotional people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the girl. You can. You bitches can be that's bitches. That's not a woman <laughs> demeaning term. Oh, we're talking about literally dogs, bitches, female yeah. dogs. We were emotional. <laughs> we like to. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. No, there's All no. Right. no. You're not getting out that easy. Jotaku. Sorry. Jotaku X. Jotaku X. Oh, I didn't edit that. You're not gonna. Soul dim. Good. No. She smells good. <laughs> they asked me. For Oh. You do that like every episode too. That's for them. You do oh. smell her. Like every yeah. episode. Yeah. She smells good, right? I've never actually gone up and smelled her. Here, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Check this out. Ready? Hold on. I thought you were going to be like. <sighs> well, I did that through my nose. I transferred the smell. Like that? Well, that's true. Did it work? I, yeah. Uh, no. Coffee. It didn't. <laughs> All I can smell is coffee. All right. Oh. So, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Get back off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We She's gonna stop showing up. <laughs> nah, just one day. We quit every week. So sometime mid February. Every week. Every She's week not gonna I show quit. up anymore. She's yeah. gonna stop. Bye guys. February's my birthday. Yeah? February what? Twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right Seventy eight. When's your birthday, Brian? I I don't know. I think Jotaku X what had a corner comment. does he live? <laughs> Next to that movie theater. Also, my social security yeah. code is down on the bottom of the screen. Mm. Right? Yeah. All right. I don't know, bro. bro. Mor Mortal bl br Blitz. Oh, that was tough. Promise the Whoa, same what? thing. What, I reading? stuttered. <laughs> <laughs> New levels, finished game. 
Um, and all we got were patches for leadership for leaderboards. Same with loading human, but I don't think we're getting the rest of that, and I'm pretty sure they intended to have multi, multiple chapters, since it was all called Volume 1. And we're probably banking on each one paying for the other. I'm also pretty sure they don't intend to refund anyone for their overpriced first chapter. Well, your, uh, your leg shakes when you read. Is it nervous? It's like reading in class. It's like reading in class. <laughs> like you're making me nervous. You're like shaking <laughs> against mine. I'm like, I'm freaking out. It's right like now. you're an Annabelle again. <laughs> I just Shake like reading in class. Long. All right. Um, <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, should it whole, be the first yeah. chapter? Nope. Of there the game, go. and there isn't going to be an end chapter. Shouldn't be a first chapter of a game if there isn't going to be an end chapter. That's uh, true. So episodic games. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, there's kind of two two questions here, or two, or two different types of games that Jotaku X is bringing up. Uh, Jotaku X first brought up Mortal Blitz. Mortal Blitz uh, is a VR game that just like Paranormal Activity, they were like, here's your game, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll patch fix it, it later. fix it up later. It's you know? be a little shitty, Will. Yeah. Luckily it was really good right out of the box, but they, but they promised us things, you know, like, you know, single player DLC and, yep. and all sorts of different things and, uh, and we didn't, we haven't seen that yet. It's only been a few months, but it's like, are, is it coming? You know? Hey. Well, it's been quick. I mean, it was like what a month and a half ago that they came out. Mortal Blitz. It was, it was, I think at this point, I want to say, I want to say early June. So maybe um, like two and a half months. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see that. Yeah. Uh, and it's like I get it. You know, it takes time, especially if yeah. they're a small development team. It's going to take time to like get that Patch stuff done. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, especially like single player DLC. Like that's like almost that's a like lot. Make bringing a whole other game to you. Yeah. Uh, so we have to be patient, especially like game uh, developers like Telltale you know who know what they're doing and are very good at this and they do it all the time yeah right. it still takes a long time between chapters yeah right um so being patient is one thing but also when you buy a game like mortal blitz and they're saying hey buy our game and it's going to be better later yeah you're definitely <laughs> like trusting somebody yeah like with your money basically oh yeah totally like, here you go yeah, yeah. it's got I here, have you. all my money <laughs> i've yeah. never met you but yeah. here you go it's all yours um and then also is also bringing up episodic games like Telltale, mm -hmm. um, and but I think he, since he wrote it on the uh, the Soul Dimension review, he's referring to that game specifically. Now, luckily, we trust Time of VR. Time of VR is a develop or is a publisher who brought us Ancient Amulator, uh, yeah. and they're developing a good reputation with PlayStation VR gamers. I highly doubt they're going to bring us Episode One and then just go, eh, it didn't sell well, <laughs> forget it. You know, I'm but, done with this. Yes. Yeah, but this is still totally possible. Right, because they're, they're they're saying it's coming, but you're only paying for the first chapter, so it's not like they really owe you anything. Yeah, right. If they don't finish it, that's true. This was it. Yeah. So, what do you guys yeah. think? Like, is should you buy episodic games when like at, with, when they're not finished? Yeah, like yeah. should you buy it episode by episode? What, is that discretion. something you want? Uh, I mean, it is personal. I mean, depends on the game, I guess. But what about is you? Something per you're like personal really discretion. What's your discretion? Well, Congression. Procession. I mean, I want to make sure I'm getting all my money's worth. Yeah. So, so I don't know. So no. So no. <laughs> so shouldn't we? No. <laughs> yeah, but they do this all no. the time, and we pay sixty dollars for it. You go and buy Gears of War. Did you know it was going to be not concluded at the end, and be another one that wasn't going to be concluded, and another one that wasn't going to be concluded for sixty dollar price points? It's but, similar. But, this is a few dollars. Right. You know, but leaving you, but ending a they game, do tell you in advance, ending a though, full I mean, complete game on a cliffhanger, yeah, like story wise, yeah, I think is a little different than being like, oh, the game's not done yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. well, is it just an like, episode oops, where it's going to continue what? on, or are you talking like this is just like bare bones type of an alpha type of a game? Well, this, we're talking about two different things, really. We're talking about the Mortal Blitz style of of, of the promise, yeah, and we're also talking about the the Soul Dimension. Like, you don't even know what's what. What the rest oh. of the story is. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, There's a fine line there. Here's my take. As a as a person who has to review these games, yeah, right. Um, I like the idea of a developer being able to like take their time and be and actually be rewarded at the same time, being like, mm -hmm. oh, look, look at all these people who are interested in what we're doing. You know, it's like, okay, so we got a little bit of money coming in from the first chapter that can fund the next chapter. You know, that gives a small developer. 
an ability to make a bigger game than they would normally be capable of doing. Yeah. Right? Because money is constantly flowing in. Usually when you develop a game, there's no money coming in until the game gets released. Yeah. Right? Unless you have, like, investors and stuff. True. Right. So this is an interesting way to get games out there. So as a reviewer, I'm like, I like it. Right? Because they're like, let's get more games coming our way. And if it has to be done this way, fine. Right. But as a consumer, as a person who consumes media... Yeah. I'm the guy that goes on Netflix and binge watches an entire season. Yeah. Right? I'm not I will not watch a, a new show Save on television like proper cable. I can't do it. I can't wait I a week have between. To, yep, I have to just watch it all right then and there. Exactly. Yes. If I can't wait a week in between how episodes of like Gotham <laughs> right, then how am I gonna wait two months or three months right. for for a time of VR to bring me the next episode You're of go crazy. Why do I have to keep looking to remember the name of this game? Soul, <laughs> Soul Dimension. Dimension. It, yeah. Which was fun, by the way. Yeah, but oh, maybe generic name. I could be wrong. So they're all, you know, all these VR games are pretty generically named. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. They, they get that right because they're the first ones out yeah. of the gate. Yeah, really. Yeah, so that's my take. I, I, I hope that we can trust all these developers to keep bringing us the content. Um, I am a little disappointed that like Loading Human, uh, mm-hmm. Episode One, which was a launch title, that was pretty short. You know, it was yeah. forty bucks. It was like maybe three or four hours. And yeah, that's uh, rough. And it, it left us on a cliffhanger, and I fully expected there to be episode two, but there hasn't been a single word about it, and that was all the way back in October. So I'm like, that was kind of 40 bucks. Never seeing that again. <laughs> Sayonara. Yeah. Right. So, but you know what? I, I paid for it, and I got what I paid for. Um, and if chapter two comes out, then I'm going to have to pay for Bonus. that too. So it's not like <laughs> yeah. they owe me a game. I, I'm torn. Now yeah. you're invested. Yeah. They got you. Yep. Oh, it's me. Wait, it's you. Yep. It's you, it's you. Oh, why do I have to read the difficult one? Moi bus pm. How the hell do you pronounce this name? Is that moi or moi? Moi moi, moi bus pm. Like he takes the bus. My night, night. my nighttime bus. Yeah, yeah. M o i b u s p m. Wrote on a recent breaking news report. Enough of horror games already. Says so you. That's like that old NPR show. Anyways, <laughs> enough of horror games already. Just like regular games have unnecessary zombie modes, PlayStation VR seems to focus on horror. How about some RPGs or exploring experiences? I was excited for the Solus project because it made it out to be an exploring survival game until I read it's really a space horror. Huh. Great. Different than... Well, that doesn't mean there's combat. What were we talking about on last episode? But space horror, now... Hmm. That would make it more interesting to me, I think. It's a shame the the trailer didn't tell us anything. Yeah. Was space horror right? Um, I do agree that PSVR, it, it does strongly focus on horror games. Needs to move on. It's time to like branch I, I, out. I, I, I wasn't saying one way or the other. It just it, it does focus on horror it games. Does. Um, it's just what American pop culture is focused on still for a long time. It's been stuck on horror and zombie. It just they go in with what sells, and it works so well. An immersive way with the headset. It's such a good way to connect with the experience. Oh, it's fantastic. Gets I mean, your heart rate going, gets yeah. you like involved. You were scared of your own hand and yeah, paranormal. <laughs> terrified. Dismembered hand, Michelle. Right. It was terrifying. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it was like, ah. <laughs> what you doing? What are you drawing? No, I'm I'm It's a penis. <laughs> I, I wish this is all you think about. It. Just Dick, 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 all day. All Apparently, day. Right? or at least for this hour or very, seven very hours. Very strange how often you think about <laughs> big old cock. Yeah. So robbing. So I'm trying this. I've played a lot of PlayStation VR games. Yeah. And, and, and when people go, it there's focuses. too much horror. Yeah. I go, well, that is there's, there's RE7, yeah. Rush of Blood, Dying Reborn, which is kind of horror, Paranormal Activity, uh, and Brookhaven Experiment. There's like 120 PlayStation VR games, and I can't think of more than five horror games. And you've brought that up many um, times before, and it's funny. Every time you do, I'm like, oh, yeah, but it does uh, really do seem like it's so much harder. It seems like it. And yeah, I mean, if I, I'm sure if I thought about it, we could think... Here we, they lie. Here they lie. Thank you. That's six. And it's, again, it's because so many are on yeah, the horizon right. without dates or not out yet, you know? Yeah. And all we see is trailer after trailer. So, I mean, so even if you said there was 10, yeah. right, like or, or 20, right... We're still not even talking yeah. of a majority of titles. Yeah. Right? There's so and, and there are a lot on the horizon, that's true. But again, that's a, another six or seven. Yeah. Emily what? wants to play. That's not a VR game. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but what Damn it. <laughs> uh one day, maybe in PlayStation VR, let's hope. Right. Um, that, no. 
but that's not hope. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that is legit heart attack inducing oh shit my right God. there. Ugh. Yeah, it should be in VR. So, so I mean, let's make a horror game out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like I, 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 if you're watching this channel, then you know that I love horror. I am the opposite of the the Warm midnight bus, the midnight, midnight bus rider, um, <laughs> midnight bus cast. Yeah, yeah, the uh, like I am the opposite of you, sir or madam. The zombie modes in games are my favorite modes. Uh, scary games are my favorite games, right? right? And, and I will never say that there's too much of it. Um, and I don't I don't know how much of a space horror game the Solus Project is. We're waiting yeah. on those comments from the Xbox One players. Yeah, Anytime we'll see. Yes. Uh, so it could be another one of them, but I'm not totally. I don't think I don't, I don't think know. that's F- not fully convinced. No, no, um, I'm yeah. not either. So yeah, we have a ton of them coming our way the persistence we have chain man we have uh, <laughs> uh, anguish no what was it not anguish was that what we looked at that last week i forget oh, I, I forget know. there's a handful coming but we have a bigger handful of everything else right. so don't don't get all upset about it everything's fine there's a little something for everyone yeah there is and rpgs rpgs that you listed uh midnight bus rider um are the those are the games that take the longest to develop yeah. so those are the games that we won't get for kind of a little for a while, while. Yeah. Right. We're yeah. Not, we're not even a year in. No. No. We're not even a year in. Year in. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting late. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> J. Dow. Hey J. Dow. Hey J. Dow. Recent breaking news report. Yeah. Hey, without parole gaming, <laughs> I'm considering trying Resident Evil Seven, right. but I've been hesitant because you need to use a controller, and I'm afraid that'll ruin the experience. I know some games, like the ones in PlayStation Room VR, integrate the controller, so it doesn't ruin the experience, but I don't know if this game integrates a controller at all. Did playing with the controller feel weird for you in VR? All right, so we've all spent at least some time in Resident Evil 7 in VR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are your thoughts on controllers rather than move controllers, a DualShock rather than moves in Uh, VR? I would think... I, I feel was, more comfortable with the dual shock and it's like you fig- I don't know. I was engulfed in the game. I mean, I you don't remember I, controlling the game because the controls were so familiar because you've been controlling a game like that for decades. Yeah. So you put this headset on and it just it's almost like your hands are in autopilot, you know? And uh yeah. I now thinking no, of paranormal I, I, activity with the foreign way to control. Right. That I remember being obviously a terrible experience, but Still. I understand the want to like reach out and hit somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, dual shock. No, I don't think it'll ruin your experience no. whatsoever. Not yeah. at all. Yeah, I uh I hate saying this because cuz it doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess. Um I prefer dual shock controls. Mm-hmm. Uh, cuz as Jeremy said, it is something we're super comfortable with. So familiar, you yeah. never not that we have a lot of tracking issues, but there are tracking issues. Right. You know, sometimes you you had problem even well, you, starting your game oh, with two you hands. Can't, yeah. You can't play super hot with dual shock. You know, I mean, yeah. makes more sense to do that. So, yeah. so once again, depends on the game. For me, I was I was really happy that Resident Evil supported dual shock out of the box, and that like they didn't try to go crazy with move controls or anything like that. Yeah, um, because it did feel totally natural, and move aiming with your head also became totally natural yeah mm-hmm. everything about resident evil 7 is is kind of perfect in vr for me mm-hmm. um so uh i know jay i think jay at this point has bought the game uh yeah. so we're curious to know what your impressions are Sweet. um can and i want to know in regards to this question mm-hmm. yeah did did you feel like you were missing out when you played with move uh, without move controls uh i i want i we need those new move controllers to come out we need the move yes. 2.0s to come out so you can have yeah. the best of both worlds yeah uh, there are there are documents of Sony uh, like years ago uh, having a breakaway DualShock Four controller, cool. one that huh. one that yeah. connects together and then breaks really? apart. Mm-hmm. It has a move bulb on the end of each one. Huh. Interesting. And, and I mm-hmm. wonder if that's going to be our new Move 2.0 because mm-hmm. they, they've had it in development for so long. It's well, got fits it, together like a puzzle piece. It just like, 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 so, so yeah. it connects back together and then separates, and you get your you get your two. DualShock move controllers. Right. Interesting. Uh, it's got to be what's coming. Huh. That'd be nice if I could just charge it all in one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> so, I know. you know, it's uh, right. each game requires Seriously. its own configuration. And uh, I think I, when I responded, I, 
I do trust the developers to do the right thing for the most part. Yeah. Uh, I wish Paranormal Activity had a launch with DualShock 4 controls, uh, but for the most part, I feel like every developer out there, they play enough of their own game. People are upset that Megaton Rainfall, the superhero game, is, isn't going to have move controls oh, out, I don't out of care. the game. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm almost very glad. happy. Yeah. 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 Comfy anyway. with the DualShock. Yeah. 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 So, what you're used to. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Variety's good. Uh, more aim support, please. Yeah. Yes. Sure. All right. And then finally, All our right. last question comes from... Emotep. Yay. 397. PSVR Theater. This one's for you. So, Brian. I'm still, I'm still stuck on his name. Emotep. Emotep? I'm Hotep. No, Emotep. Emotep. It's an Egyptian god. It's, yeah, prince. Do you ever see the mummy? Jesus. Uh, maybe. Get with it. It wasn't Jesus, Michelle. <laughs> was the mummy a That's good scary movie? That's not what I movie? meant. Uh, it was like a, I don't want to say kid friendly scare, but no, Wait, it's not scary. Wait, was that Brendan Fraser? Yeah. I hate Brendan Fraser. I you know, he was all right that. in that. Come on. And yeah. Encino Man. For like a decade, people told me I looked Ooh, like Universal, Brendan Fraser. Oh, really? Um, hated that. Really? He's and fat now, so you don't look like him. They have the mummy so ride, though, in like Universal, and I'll that's awesome. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. I totally ignored you. That's okay. I can't wait to ride the ride sometime when I'm in Universal. Y- you should. Next yeah. June. That's a good scare. Did you say next June? No, it's been there. Oh. No, <laughs> didn't say that Last at all. Last June. So leave it to a Floridian to know that. <sighs> really? So, Michelle. Brian. Hey. What's your story on Jessica Jones? What is my story on Jessica Jones? Well, I don't know. Only you would know that. <laughs> I almost feel like you guys should do an opinion show on narratives. Movies, TV. You, no, sound that like, was a, you sound like you get exhausted halfway through. A <laughs> no, oh, like, no, I was like, <laughs> reading. I was like an opinion you just show. Totally no. give up, my no. <laughs> Start over in a couple seconds. Words. Right. So sorry. Movies, TVs, novels, Thank you. Novellas, 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 short stories, comics, etc. Thank you, thank you, Egyptian guy. Thank you, Imhotep. <laughs> um, I don't know if you do that to me. I think yeah, more like a. <laughs> oh like, yeah. Bow down, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna read up on your Egyptian I want him to be Asian. <laughs> <laughs> you want everyone Well, they had one of those in yeah. the third yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. mummy. An Asian? There was the Asian <laughs> going well. army. I forget what they called. Oh, that really was where you were going with this. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. We, we, talk, uh, we talk a lot about Patreon support. Uh, so dollar a month, whatever yeah. episodes. Um, at $4,000 a month, not individual, just collective <laughs> yeah. as a whole yes. well, especially uh, I, I have promised everybody that I will quit my job at four thousand dollars a month patreon support and uh, to give back uh, not only will you get more videos and uh, and, and more up-to-date things and uh, and you know more reviews and lots of ways and all the normal stuff you know because now I suddenly have a lot of extra time to do it but we're also gonna do uh, a daily Monday through Friday morning show that's right afternoon show Yes. Whenever I wake Let's up, show. Whenever he wakes up, right? you can call it that too. Yep. And 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 there's no way in hell that PlayStation VR news is going to come out so frequently yeah. that Every it will cover day. that'll cover the morning. So here's show, your chance. Yeah, right. <laughs> so so here's the deal. Uh, at that point, sometime in the way future, when I get to quit my job uh, and Michelle in gets to quit her future. job too, we are going to do a morning show, and we are going to have to dive into think. Touch my leg. I did. It I totally so <laughs> um, we're, Where we're, are we? We're right going now? to have to, uh, you know, be up to date on movies and TV and novels yep. and all this stuff, <clears> so that we can have other things to talk <laughs> about other than PlayStation yeah. VR. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So that's the plan. Part of our morning but, show will be, I mean, every day, all the up to date stuff, and uh, and so look forward to that sometime in the year 2097 <laughs> when we hit four thousand dollars when you guys sure. wake up at 5 a.m when they have bed, vr it's in 5 the p.m yeah. it's uh it's never happening right yeah all right. all right you guys so if you ever want your comment on red on viewer takeover then make sure you leave a comment leave a comment that's, that's it. all you have to do yeah, we'll it. find it don't worry if it's any yeah. good i keep an eye on it yeah uh but also uh, if you saw that awesome introduction from uh rickus rook uh and you yeah. want your introduction to be the beginning of next week's viewer takeover well then you have a chance because i think that was the last one we had back on oh jeez right. somebody send us something please please, please. Yeah. so uh please. so send it to without parole at gmail.com and that is about the end of our show yes camera's right. blinking yes. it's all right camera always blinks it does always blink all sometimes right. it shuts off for the midnight games cast i'm brian that's jeremy this is michelle and we'll see you next week
I think um, I saw two prostitute fights possibly happening saw, all, right across the street from your house. Wait, almost. wait, you saw two prostitutes fighting or you saw two separate unique prostitute fights? I'm, they weren't like fist fighting but arguments and they were pretty much right across the street from us. I think it was a lesbian um, situation. And I don't know why. I'm just saying that. I mean, it was just two females yelling at each other. I can't, I can't tell if, if, <laughs> if strange things just happen to you all the time or if you're just way more observant than I am.